Hello scientists, welcome to Drawbound Mat, the tutorial channel for scientists to learn professional scientific illustrations. Today I will show you how to draw this beautiful Gauge apparatus in PowerPoint. Yes, you can totally draw this kind of illustration in PowerPoint uh, if you know where the functions are. I will be showing you where to find them. So without further ado, let's start to draw our Gauge apparatus. This will be the Gauge apparatus that we'll be drawing. I will move this one to the side so uh, we can create a new one. And so first, uh, we need to draw the shape of the Gauge stacks. So let's grab our shape tool and get the rectangle tool. And then I'll draw this rectangle like this, a thin, a th very thin rectangle. And then uh, I will zoom in so it will be easier to edit it. Then I'll right click on the shape and then I'll click on this edit points. So uh, now you can see the anchor points are showing up as these uh, black dots. And when you click on them, then you'll see these two uh, handles that shows up. So when you move the handles around, then uh, you can adjust the tangent line that's going through the anchor points. I will hold shift and then move the uh, handles so these two handles will align. Uh, so it can create a very smooth uh, tangent line. Um, then I will move this one like this. And then this one like this and this one inward. Uh, I think I accidentally click on a, a duplication. So we have one extra uh, rectangle and we'll delete that. Uh, yeah, so this will look like uh, part of our Golgi stack, uh, like the fluid one. Um, so I will quickly duplicate five of them. And then uh, I will make this one smaller, Let's turn it around. This one. So turn around and smaller. So and then this one smaller and here. Okay, I'll put them together. Okay, then I will elongate them a little bit horizontally. Okay, now I will do some minor adjustments. I will just speed up uh, this part because uh, it's the same function that we have used, that's edit points. Now the Gauge stack is ready, we can uh, group all of them. Select them all and then uh, press on the group shortcut. Okay, so once they're grouped, you can go to your uh, format shape panel. If you don't have it, you can go to the shape fill and then go to gradient, more gradients, then you will be able to open this shape, uh, format shape panel. And then uh, click on the gradient fill, then uh, you will have a gradient apply onto the entire shape, uh, but this is not the gradient that we want. We want some purple in there. So uh, yeah, then that's adjusted. We need three color boxes here. And if you fill this in with, um, the purple, then you see that the purple will start uh, appearing into your shape. And I also want to change the blue here. And uh, I want a even uh, redder purple. So I move the color box over here and uh, then I put this magenta in. Then you see that there is a little bit of the uh, red magenta showing up here then that looks very pretty and dynamic. So then now I can put it into our cell, uh, scale it down a little bit like that. That's how you create this uh, beautiful gradient in your Golgi apparatus in PowerPoint. So uh, yeah, I hope this can uh, show you that uh, you can use PowerPoint to create very beautiful and professional scientific illustrations for your publications. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and also uh, share it with your colleagues and friends. Uh, this can really help me to grow my channel 
And uh, also subscribe to Joe Balman if you like to see more of these tutorials. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the future videos.